this is you know Roger in Singapore. Um, historically, what percentage of quad fours have had non quad four behavior? Buys up, CRB up, gold down. Um, yeah, you know, so we've sort of back tested this. I think thirty plus years, and you know, they're basically two dynamics: either narrow or deep. Um, narrow, I think, for quad four maybe happens about a quarter of the time, and deep is about seventy five percent of the time. So it's a very good predictor. Mm -hmm. And you know, narrow quad four would have almost like quad two type behavior to yep. some extent, like a lot of um, you know, sort of riskier assets work, equity works better, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we're not necessarily making a big call or, or the other, but it's a very unique, I think, economic situation that you know, you're gonna have strong underlying organic growth and not a typical quad four in the sense that it's a sharp deceleration, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, but you, we all have rate of change slowdown. So I actually like how you laid it out, which is this environment we're in could continue through July, and then maybe we see more of this yep. deceleration in kind of the back half of the summer into the fall. It's, it's a real important contextualization, and it's also super important to never do things because of the average of things, right? right? So the answer, well, yeah, yeah. The, the, the <laughs> answer is, here are three answers yeah. on quad four. Let's go through all three. We have time to? Yep. So you have, um, it's amazing that people are still just completely off the hook. Like, I mean, I, I sincerely hope, and I, and I ask people, again, you can look at the return of certain asset managers. You're either up more than the S&P this year or you're not. And if you're not, there could be a variety of reasons for that in terms of your position sizing, again, how you've expressed quad two. But if you just stayed, God forbid, with quad two, you are mercy crushing it, okay? And that's what I really want for all of you. I don't want you to wake up with anxiety. Because guess who invented quad, quad uh, the quads and quad four? I did, all right? My team has continued to develop these quads. So you have three different scenarios. Let's see if this is, uh, Jonesy, give me those again. So you got um, what percentage of the time? So we're gonna look at the average of things, uh, the average of things. What percentage of the time do we have a narrow quad for? Uh, I think it's you know in the range of 15 to 20 percent. Let's let's just call this a quarter, or whatever yeah. of the time, um, or percentage of the time. Yeah. Deep is how many times? Deep it's quad four. Probably 75. So let's say three quarters of the time you get that. All right. What do you do with that? I don't know if you're doing anything with that this morning. I haven't told you to do anything with that, because there's this other time which is 100 percent of the time that this Irish Canadian guy has gotten the deep quad four market moves right. 100. We made it up. The signal front runs at. So maybe it's a little bit easier for me to not get irritated anymore with all these questions and just say, I'll let you know when the signal moves. Nobody has the signal. Thank God. You know, nobody's, <laughs> nobody took that. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's an important message. It should calm you I think, I don't wake up really in the morning with all this anxiety about the quad fours. I actually have, maybe, a, 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 maybe I'm too confident. But guess what? This most recent iteration of quad two or not quad four, and particularly the pushback some of you gave me on gold at 1920, has me feeling pretty good this Monday morning. 